Welcome, new YouTube channel called The Levy Effect. We're here to bring y'all new artists with new music and um, get, hopefully get their name out there. We're here today with NF Chris. Yeah. Where, where does NF Chris, where does that name come from, NF? Well, it's been the abbreviation. It's uh, NF stands for Never Fold. Yeah. And then Chris is my name. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really comes from what I believe in. Never Fold. Never, Never Fold? fold. Yeah. All right. So, we know each other from extra stuff outside of this, but um, when I first met you, you wasn't rapping, right? Yeah, no. yeah you weren't rapping. That was what, back in like 2021? Yeah. Yeah, the end of 2021. What made you start getting in rap? Well, to be honest with you, I wouldn't say I wasn't rapping. I just wasn't recording shit. You know, yeah. So I anytime I go with my dogs and everything, we just hang out, chill and everything. Yeah. Go ahead, put on the beats, just spit a couple bars. One time, the guy who makes my beats, he uh he heard me freestyle and everything. He's like, bro, you need to you need to start recording. So I'm like, shit, bro, I'm not a rapper. He said, man, fuck that, you rapping right now? I'm like, bro, it's not who I am. I just don't do it for fun. Okay. He's like, bro, that's fun. Make something out of it. Yeah. So the guy do your beats. Uh... The guy, uh, you said he's from Darmstadt? He, he lives in Darmstadt. Okay. He's from Sweden. He's Swedish. He's Swedish guy. Just yeah. On the beat, huh? That, that. Yeah. So you got some nice beats. So you got a Swedish guy coming out making these hip hop beats yeah. and stuff like that. So that, that's beats. pretty cool. Shout out Echo Beats, man. Yeah. Okay. Go follow that boy, Echo Beats. Go man. follow Echo Beats. Yeah. But um, when when did you start actually? Like, when, where did your. First experience with music? Ever. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, same experience as you, most likely. <laughs> you with dogs. Yeah. Put one rotation, you know what I'm saying? B came on. Yeah. The nigga look at you, he said, hey, spit something. Yeah. What you supposed to do? So, what what, what thing, what you think, like, what, around what age you feel like oh, you were really into? Oh, nah, I feel yeah. like I was into this shit. I ain't gonna cap, like, 2021. Yeah, when I was really into it. It was a normal thing to just freestyle every once in a while. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I did that starting age 15. All right, like cool. 14, 15. Yeah, so what, like, when you write music? Nah. When, you don't write music? I do now, these days, yeah. but it, to be honest with you, I never really, my method's a little different. I don't just write, sit down, just think, and start writing. Mm -hmm. What I do is, like, put on a beat that I fuck with. Yeah. And then I freestyle a little bit. And thankfully, shit, like, I'm a little quick with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I come up with shit quick, and then if it's not catch, I'm going to write it down and build on that. Okay, what, and what do you base your lyrics on? What do you feel like you draw your imp inspiration and writing? Experience. Well? Experience and, and how I feel. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever I've been through, whatever I feel like I'm going to go through, mm -hmm. whatever I feel like at the moment, where I feel like throughout right. the month. Like life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, see, and a lot of people don't know that when it come down to writing, it, you got to get into this beat. You got to have like a kind of, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A connection with the beat and feel it before you can write to it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, what, especially with me, I have to go in there and listen to it probably like five times before I can even start writing to it. Yeah, you ain't lying. Going for the beat, bro. Sometimes you don't have to be blank because you just yeah. don't fuck with it. Yeah. So um you you already did some performances and stuff like yeah. that and a few clubs. Yeah. Um like what what's your next thing? Shit, to be honest with you, I'm trying to focus on building my business. I started my own LLC, start my own clothing brand. Yeah. Start my own uh protein bar brand. And I'm trying to like really build my foundation, but at the same time I'm still trying to drop music consistently. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants someone who's consistent, you know what I'm saying? Pro you saw the protein bar brand? That's because yeah. you, you, I know you big in fitness. Big. I mean, yeah, and really something that I can, you know, say that is mine. Mm -hmm. And maybe I could take to myself since I do mm -hmm. train a lot, you know. 
I'm into like a lot of fighting, mixed martial arts, and boxing, right. and just you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's your free time. Y'all. Free time is keep me sane, bro. Gotta hit someone, put someone in the face, <laughs> leave you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So free time, you out there fighting and rolling around in the ring, and um, <laughs> and <laughs> quite the ladies man, huh? Hell no. <laughs> Oh, 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 now you're not. Now you're not. Hell, boy. <laughs> Listen, man. I ain't no ladies, man, bro. I do love women, though. I love women, but at the same time, I'm a lord, man. Okay, okay. So, oh, what's the most of your fan base? What do you feel like? They men or women? Shit. You don't know? I don't know. You don't check your st- stats and um, I analytics? Do, I do, I do, I do, I do. But the thing is, though, I don't know, like, I know if it's a dude who fuck my music because he fuck my music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He fuck with me. Right. But I don't know if a girl fuck my music because my music, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, what you, so what you're saying is, it's like, like, if you with a girl, yeah. you think she only fuck with you your music because she fucking with you. Most likely. Okay, so they you talk got... about music. <laughs> I mean, they talk about it, but <laughs> uh, okay. So you ain't. T- I feel like most of my fan base too is like seventy five percent men. So especially how I rap. Right. It's it's basically. Right. <laughs> I don't trust no, you know whatever. You know what I'm saying. So right. it's kind of like. But I'm getting away from that now. I feel like I, at the beginning, I was getting all my emotions out. Yeah, so yeah. now I'm just like, fuck it. Love and support. So. <laughs> yeah, so wh- what, where like, where you feel like most of your music coming is like aggression or like from past trauma? Where you feel like you... Well, my, my, like, I would say my identity... Uh, like who ended up Chris is a bunch mm-hmm. of different emotions, bro. Like it's really a lot of subliminal shit in my music, mm-hmm. in my cover art, in the songs and everything. Right. I like different categories and shit. Like to be honest, it's kind of hard to explain, but I feel like if you follow like what I'm doing, like you yeah. kind of understand. Right. Why, like why they call me like a jack of all trades and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you won't really like you just started music. Like yeah. I feel like, like you like. Bro. Fresh, fresh. So you don't really got a lot of content out there on like, on uh, like performances and stuff like that. Yeah. So, but you have what three singles out now? Yeah, about four. About three, four. Yeah. And I did a little digging, man. You got some features with, uh, yeah. Don't I like? Don't I like? How I ain't doing my research. Yeah, you got some yeah. bad features with what? T. What's his name? T. V. T. E. V. Yeah. So what? So what about that? What 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 got you into like? You feel like that's when you started out, really? Nah, bro. I mean, yeah, I guess sure. That's when like the thought came around because that my beat maker was introduced by TV. Mm-hmm. To my okay. Beat but um, I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like that's when I was still in like I was good at freestyle. Right. I didn't know how to really put a song together, bro. You know what I'm saying? So like, right. If you go back and listen to it, you still was like, I feel like, no disrespect to TEV, you just had more mel- melodic raps than him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, music is is art. So you yeah. Know, so he yeah. wanted me to do a part on his song, and I said, sure, why not? You know what I'm saying? Smoke some gas, got a boot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And uh, you had your, your name still in that Chris back there? Yeah, it was in yeah, Chris. Okay. There was one one song that he, I don't know what the fuck was going through his head, bro, but cuz, cuz put Chris up there, bro. I don't even know what the fuck. He was supposed <laughs> to change it too, bro. No, he was supposed to change it, never did. Yeah, so, so what, and then, like, what, what, uh, distribute? Ten companies you use, like yeah, how you use this, this, and how this been working for you? Pretty, pretty good, bro. Yeah, so, so yeah. So, um, your last single was Vice. Vice. Yeah. Okay, and take us through 
what 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 the lyrics are about. Take us through that creative process of making bites. Like you hearing the beat? Yeah, no, nah, it was definitely me hearing the beat. My beat maker and I, we were, we was fucked up one time. We was chilling. Yeah. We made that beat on the spot when I when I made uh when I made that song. Mm -hmm. I made that song like five minutes to be honest. Right. But um, I don't know, bro. Like how the song really started from like, start to finish, five minutes. Yeah. You made the beat. He made oh, you movie. you wrote the lyrics in five minutes. No, I made the song in like five minutes. Like like literally the lyrics were done in like five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, okay, okay. So I, like as soon as I. But after the making the beat. Yeah, he made yeah. the beat already. Like he okay. was, he made the beat right in front of me. Okay. And then, and then I, he played that show. Like, oh shit! Started freestyling. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, um, my freestyle was literally the beginning of the song. They got me on a poster, trying mm -hmm. to get closer. You know what I'm saying? Like that was actually how I started yeah. off the freestyle. And everything, and he looked at me like, "Oh shit, yeah, keep that shit going." I started mm -hmm. writing, I typed it on my phone, and yeah. I was like just freestyling to this fucking beat that I made vice for. But basically, the way I do it is like when I freestyle, that first two bars that I make uh -huh. determines what the song will be about. Okay. That's how I do it. Yeah. It so determines what the song will be about. Okay. And I build around that. So I say they got me on a poster. All right. So apparently, I'm on the run. You know. So. Mm -hmm. But then I try to make it relatable to who I am and what my experiences and shit like that. So I was just like, what can, how can I make the song mean something to me? So mm -hmm. I was saying like vice crime, like really more control organized type crime and everything. Like, and I ain't talking right. about like mafia type shit. I'm talking right. about like, you know, say for this, how our economy runs, bro. I said like most people, they out here selling rocks and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm over here trying to get stocks. I'm over here trying to get bread. I'm over here trying to get money. However I can, whatever right. I need to do, but it's in a way they can't fuck me over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's more organized. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they still got me on the run because you know these days, if you're really successful these days, bro, motherf some motherfuckers gonna be coming after your ass. No right. Matter, right. No matter where you at. Yeah. No matter if you're doing some legal shit, you're doing some fucking right. legal shit, bro. If you uh -huh. get too successful, you are gonna hit the spotlight. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And motherfuckers gonna be coming after. Right. You know? so people. People. When they see somebody in a position that they're, they not or envy. Mm -hmm. Oh, they looking for everything. They looking for everything. They going through your trash back in the house and everything. Try to find some they to they going through your mama trash and they everything. They can't find some shit on you. They gonna try to plant some shit for you. Bro. Right. You know <laughs> Something gonna happen first. Might as well just yeah. So and you was talking about your lyrics, right? Yeah. Like they got me on a poster. Do you feel like you when you hear somebody? Say it, sing in your song or saying the song back to you. Do they get the lyrics wrong, like or misconstrue the lyrics from what you was trying to say? Everybody interprets shit their own way. Yeah. Right? Why do you think that people have fans and sometimes they have haters? Mm -hmm. They might have some haters because they deter, like they they read it out of context. Right. You know what I'm saying they took it their own way. But what I got to say about that is. Fuck you. Why? Because I made it not for you. I made it for people who fuck with it, and I made it for me. Yeah. So if you you know, fuck with it. That's cool. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Well, listen to Taylor Swift. And listen to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> listen to that. Come on now. Bro. Uh, yeah. Every time I every. Every time I hear Taylor Swift, bro, I just think of Kanye taking the mic, bro. Oh, That's like. That's what her legacy is right now. For me. For me. <laughs> bro, I can't nobody cancel Kanye, bro. Bro, can't nobody cancel him, bro. They try time and time again. That boy going through an elder ring boss battle right now, bro. Oh, man. He fucking with the top dogs right now, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna cap. Our motherfuckers couldn't cancel him because they were his peers, bro. These these his parents he fucking around with, bro. I'll probably Kanye though. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what was the uh, like your favorite song? Night. Music. Yeah, from your music. Let me read you. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck my music. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So you make it and you don't even like it, or you just feel like you got so much growth to do? I wouldn't say that I'm a perfectionist. That is another part mm -hmm. of me. It is a part of it. Yeah. I, I always think it'll always be a little better, but that's not even it, bro. It's just like, I just think my shit sucks, bro, to be honest. Right. Like, 
Bro, the more I listen to my shit, it's, 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 it's just like, nah, I need to change this. I need to change that. But I feel like once it's down and done, I mean, you can add your little breaks and whatever after that. Right. But after you lay that down, bro, I ain't no looking back. <laughs> no, no, that shit, you can't. You can't. You can't get stuck. Mm-mm. You can't get stuck. And yeah. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep going. You, you gotta, gotta keep pushing, hey. bro. You gotta keep pushing. See I said that trash, but look, I'm gonna say it more if I like. I know how to say it better next time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's how it's supposed to be, though, bro. It's supposed yeah. to be learned first. Those, those fucking, uh, those fucking futures you talking about. Yeah. Like every, every blue moon. Go back and listen to the motherfucker. Right. Every blue moon. Right. Same expression every time. <laughs> See how far I came. You know, I keep it pushing. Yeah, you know, right. Like, nigga came far, bro. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like anybody who wants to start rapping, anybody who's trying to come up as a rapper, you should never try to get in the future. I mean, do you? Everybody has a different process. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, I would do at least five, six songs, drop them by yourself. Find out right. who you are as a rapper. Right. Find out who you are as an artist uh-huh. before you even try to do a future with someone else who's trying to do the same fucking thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and then after you get your name out there, you promote yourself, then you can go ahead and get with someone else who's on the same level as you or try to be behind and you okay. and go ahead and work with them, bro, so you can learn. You should always be in a learning position. If you're not with someone that you can't learn shit from, why the fuck you with them? Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. Get your ass. Right. If someone hey. is good or is better, better than you. Yeah, preach. You know preach. What I'm yeah. Uh, yeah, so what do you feel like makes your music or rap style unique and different from, like, because the get, bro, it's so many rappers these yeah, days, bro. Crazy, bro. We got two in the room right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's so many rappers in the game right now. What do you feel like set you apart and can make you, like, I ain't gonna cap. Pop. I feel like originality. I mean, yeah. I don't, like, I ain't inspired by a lot of different rappers that, right. I, like, that I, I fuck with and, like, roll with and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, listening to a shit, I don't try to be like nobody. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta always rap about one-dimensional, two-dimensional uh-huh. things, bro. You know, I rap about shit that, you know, like, I can relate to. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking for nobody to fool me. Right, right. So, so who do you who you grew up listening to? Shit, young Dolph, nigga, young yeah. Dolph Gucci, fucking Young Thug, of course. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with some New York rappers too. Right, right. So, so, so you from Georgia, Georgia right? Yeah. Georgia, and you just keep it in that southern. Honestly, bro, I yeah. just like Tennessee and Georgia rappers. Right, right. I, like, right. I, like, I like Florida rappers too. Kodak, uh-huh. I fuck with yeah. Kodak heavy, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anybody stop the game. I really fuck with it. I, I, I like music, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it fuck, if I fuck with it, if it catch my ear, I don't give a shit what the fuck it is. But I feel like the, I feel like the reason, the re- reason I like fucking South rapping Louisiana. Anybody who come out of Louisiana, I'm got, I gotta listen to them at least once. You, you know what I'm saying? I gotta cause because it's just like it was so much. The vibe coming up, mm-hmm. it's like, hey, we got to support our fucking people. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. especially when, like, where you grow up at, like, where you live at and everything. You do look for those rappers. Some people don't even know like that and everything, like, outside the state at least. Right. You're like, CJ Casino, I fuck with that nigga heavy, bro. Mm-hmm. You probably don't know who the fuck that is. You know what I'm I don't know. I'm, I don't see, know. See, you like that, bro. I'll show you yeah. some shit, man. Bro. Where you from? Georgia, bro. Sauce Walker. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I know Sauce Walker now. I know you know Sauce Walker. <laughs> you don't know who Sauce Walker is. Yeah, really? No, okay. I don't know who Sauce Walker is, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying that they didn't make it. They ain't but it, it. that's crazy because it's a lot of like, if I meet the Florida nigga, you know, like my nigga Sam, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll bring up Sada Baby or something. Oh, a lot of, exactly. A lot of people don't know who Sada Baby is. But that, I like, yeah. discovering new motherfucker. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Growing up, bro, it was really a lot of, Gucci, bro, a lot of Gucci, a lot of Young Dolph. Yeah. Young Pat, I was a big Dolph fan, bro. Huge Dolph fan, RP. Bro, I feel like Dolph was his own lane, you know what I'm saying? His own, like, I feel like this dude, he just. That's, that's one of my, like, top rappers, bro. Because I look at him how he did it business wise. 
You know, same with Nipsey. I look at how he do business wise, bro. When it comes to like those West Coast rappers mm-hmm. and shit like that, I listen to a lot of them niggas too, bro, to be honest with you. Like right. Boogie. You know who Boogie is? Yeah, I know who Boogie. Bro. Yeah, West like Side that. Boogie now. West Side Boogie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got them um, uh, New York, bro. There's a lot of uh, yeah. underachievers. I'm going to get to like people like Joy Badass and shit like that. I yeah. Them niggas too. Bro, you know, under, they, that, they, that boy is underrated. Joy, Joy Badass, underrated. 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 Bro, anybody bro. pro era, anybody like fucking underachievers, people don't yeah. know who they is, but they had some bangers, but they really had a couple bangers, bro. Mm-hmm. Flat Bizarros. I fuck with them heavy too. I don't know them, man. You know, oh my god, bro, I gotta put you on, bro. I gotta put you on. Mm-hmm. Meet Darko, Juice, off his arm, bro. Like, I gotta, I gotta put you on. <laughs> I, gotta put you on. <laughs> I don't know who, 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 you said Juice? Juice, his name is Juice. It's a, it's a, a rap group of three. Uh huh. Black Blue Zombies, bro. And you got Pro Era, you know, like Kirk Knight, Joy Badass. Yeah. All them motherfuckers, they come and they, they little package too. Okay, so, we two American ass rappers, right? Living in Germany, <laughs> how do you feel like that affects us and the music industry, the career and whatever? What do you feel like the effect is different from staying in the states and rap? Uh, stay in the states. I mean, <clears throat> I can't really, to be honest with you, I feel like it don't really fucking matter. Yeah, um, if you hit, you hit, if you huh? Hit, you hit. <laughs> Real shit. Everybody yeah. been through some shit in their life. I got right. shit I've been through in my life, bro. I can stand ten toes. I don't give a fuck. Um, but at the same time, promotion in America better, bro. True. Everything booming in America. Yeah. You go yeah, to especially. City, you go to Atlanta. You go to fucking Los Angeles, bro. You go to New York, bro. You go yeah. to a lot of major cities. Yeah, my America. my sister in Atlanta. Shout out to Sequoia. She doing numbers right now. Right. Doing numbers. Right. So. I feel like if you in a state, you got so many more people who trying to connect that to you, that music too. Right. And right. plus, and plus, it's way more people. It's way more people. Social yeah. media in the state side of Western civilization, bro, it's more booming right now. Too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what? <laughs> what it was funny, bro? <laughs> Your first song, "Who Would Be the Game?" Was that the first? First one. First, and you go in there, your lyrics. They read what uh you gonna slap a motherfucker if you see another TikTok. Oh, you so you heard that. <laughs> yeah, right. So how you feel like somebody read no lyrics? I ain't gonna cap, bro. <laughs> I ain't got nothing against TikTok. Are you TikTok? Because I'm pretty sure you're about to be using TikTok. I'm using TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to use TikTok. Goddamn it, boy. There was a time, bro, where like. I can look at shit, but yeah. there's hella fucking like spamming TikToks coming on my feed. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Just crazy, unnecessary shit. Yeah, I, and it, I think I think the most annoying thing about TikTok is as soon as you open the app, you on the the reels play uh, playing and like somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to go to my profile. I don't feel like you know what I'm saying. Right. That's what for real. TikTok for me is just creating content. Ain't it? No lie. Yeah. Honest, so. Bro, you really, it's yeah. actually that ridiculous, bro. Like, yeah. If you really want your shit to blow up, make like TikTok. Social media is booming right now. Yeah. It, TikTok yeah. doing a lot of stuff for the music industry. No so. Lie. No lie. Yeah. yeah. It's doing a lot of stuff for a lot of anybody, really. Mm-hmm. Some people can just post some stupid ass shit in like a day or two, get like over a thousand fucking views. Wow. Right. Wow. Some stupid shit. Well, something you got. You, you got to think when it comes to paying promotions too. Yeah, for your stuff to be seen, seen. So you pay for like a promotion boost, so it can get out there and stuff. And I, so speaking of that, how much you feel like is even like worth like promoting? Like should should somebody in the first five songs, like you said, start promoting their music? Like invest in like. Promotion companies to push cap. it out. Not on cap, bro. Like it's up to you, really. Whatever you feel like you're ready. If it, if you know the song's good, you have enough fucking people telling you the song good. It might it gonna blow up? Yeah. Do what you need to do. Bro. Invest how much. But you need. know, you know your homeboys, man. They you sometimes. Lying. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. That's why you gotta have some real friends. Man. Yeah. You can't have no fake motherfuckers who just trying to gas you up. Like, right. Now my niggas like, bro, look at me, bro. You know I ain't gonna be. My shit's yeah. garbage, bro. Tell me it's garbage, bro. Right, Real right. Shit. 
And I feel like my, that's why I said like my my shit to my boys back home. They gonna be like, oh no, that shit trash, bro. That, but they already said, hey, from my first song, cleaning this bit to my last, uh, shit, I don't even know what it was. Revenge or tax, one of those. But, um, <laughs> but, but revenge or tax, either one of those. But. The growth between those, I feel like it was like tremendous. Like just staying in the in the lab or in the studio and keep going every week, just showing that consistency. Because first you gotta see yourself committed, right? You gotta be committed to even wanna start to make music. That's how you know you're gonna start if you committed to it. But how you know you're gonna finish, you gotta stay consistent. No matter what you do, bro, if you're not disciplined to right. to do something full out, full through, mm -hmm. and what I mean by that is like even if shit don't go your way, what do you do? You keep going, you keep trying to make fucking solutions, right. keep on pushing. Some motherfuckers don't have patience for that. So they try to make yeah. they find some easy shit to do. You know right. I Music mean? for me is easy. I ain't gonna cap. Take me about five, mm -hmm. six minutes to make a song. You know, I can have fun, bro. Mm -hmm. It really is like my little peace zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, so where do you draw that 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 drive to keep you going? Where you get that inspir inspiration for? Just do what you do, man. Inspiration. <laughs> you just do what you need to do. So how you I, I like? Cause you got a foundation from somewhere of like of just work ethic towards oh, rap. Oh shit! Just slap stuff. It's just lifestyle, bro. I live my whole life because of training, doing music. Right. Doing organized shit. Mm -hmm. you know Who started you into like just push you into like sports, um, extracurricular was, rat activities? It was really, shit, really, it was cousins, really. Just I grew up around yeah. sports. I grew up around like, I don't know why I got into contest sports. I always like, when I had my first taste of contact sport, Football, I was like nine, ten years old. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. Okay. Yeah. I so I grew up fighting too. So you grew up fighting too, like like in um competitions. Mm -hmm. No, no, I was fighting kids. Just. <laughs> like, hey, you want fight? Look, 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 look. We can just go ahead and get I this out right now. Organized, organized fights. I was like fourteen, fifteen. Oh, okay. Started yeah. Like so, oh, what? So, what area of uh, Georgia you was? Valdosta. Wow. My family moved up to Augusta, but Valdosta is really not. Oh, to Augusta. So Augusta got it's getting a little more chippy now. <laughs> like they growing too, though. Augusta is growing, but that means it's bringing a lot of more badass kids in the area to get in more. Kids <laughs> right. So. Yeah, that's the youth. We gotta find more stuff for them to do. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what we're old, bro. They stop. We stop doing bro, that. We stop whooping your kids' ass. The, the best thing in Augusta. I got my ass whooped as a kid. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? Now all these kids are tired of soft. Soft as hell. <laughs> soft as fuck, bro. But I think the best thing in Augusta right now is those YMCA's, the, uh, the Croc Center and stuff like that, because they give them kids somewhere to go to play basketball, play teams and whatever. Because, bro, I'm telling you, man, when I was there, bro, I go to the place that I don't want to go <laughs> on the wrong turn and I be like, hey, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make it out of this apartment complex. <laughs> yeah, because I was an Uber driver trying to make some extra cash. Like, I don't think, mm -mm. bro, uh-uh, bro, <laughs> yeah, it get bad. So, what, what, what's, I feel like, what, what is, uh, the biggest struggle for you now to stay, like, I don't got no struggles right you now. You don't got no struggles? Less, bro. Yeah. Bro, okay, I ain't got no struggles. Right okay. Now. You, I stay in my own lane, bro. Most people who have struggles, no matter where the fuck you at, bro, mm -hmm. they, they decide to stay there. Yeah. And they struggle, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's all, sometimes it's all they know. So you got good coping skills, basically. You know how to get nah, through shit. Right. right. You feel like you can get in the studio anytime you want to and stuff like that? In the what? Studio. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. 
To be honest with you, my yeah. piece, that's where I go for like to get the edge off and do a couple things to get the edge off. But you got three toes out, man. I have like twenty recorded. What what what's holding you up? Well, the only thing that's holding me up is I really want to have a foundation before I start really dropping hella shit. I want to mm-hmm. have a plan. I want to know when how I'm promote my shit because most people who shit is ninety percent promotion, right? Percent music, right? You know what I'm saying? So I want to know where people are going to be able to go to fuck with my shit, like follow uh-huh. me, follow me for content. What am I going to make content on? Where am I going to be putting this content? Uh, how am I going to be doing my business, my online clothing business, okay. my my protein, my supplement business, all that shit? Yeah. I need to know all this before I even start dropping music like that. So you feel like. I feel, me, I have a different view. I you feel, feel, right? I feel like you gotta put it out there right, to no, even and get will, it. And I will, but I also, I mean, I have my mix or master. This motherfucker built his own studio right mm-hmm. now from scratch. Right. You know what I'm saying? I really fuck with him. I fuck with him heavy, bro. I have like three other guys who can mix and everything, but I'm not even rushing that right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I really wanted to. I want to just like, I need to get my music out there, bro. I can have four songs mixed and mastered this week. And then after that, I can just drop that shit every, in every like three week period. Boom. Right. I feel like you got to get it out there because it's not going, it's not doing you no know, revenue in your fucking phone right now. Okay. So you either, you set up a plan and you get that shit going to where it's gonna do that what ten times as much as revenue as you just releasing it like this. Yeah. But you need like I no, you buy got, everybody got to, everybody got to <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like it it has to be out there to get, even get recognized. Yeah, get recognized or get yeah, a screen. Though, bro, you know that some dudes you okay, I know you know this mm-hmm. some motherfuckers record make one song. Right. That's it. One uh-huh. motherfucking song. And they just promote the dog shit out of this one motherfucking song. Right, I know a couple you know of saying? German artists who do that one song a year, bro. I don't agree with that shit, to be honest. I feel like and they go through damn. every goddamn open mic that one saying time. that one damn song all day, all year. But I don't know if it's making them money. I don't know. Some people do that. Like that. I feel like that's how Designer made that first that fucking Panda song. All you fucking heard from this nigga. <laughs> this is the only song you ever heard from this nigga. Yeah. Panda, bro. Panda. I've tried to look up other some fucking songs from this nigga. I don't know how he promoted it to get out. I don't I don't got the that backstory on that. Probably, yeah. 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 Atlanta, That's how you got this shit. from Atlanta, <laughs> You go to the right place, promote that shit. Ain't gonna catch, just catch it. Yeah. But, hey, but uh, he knew that shit was gonna catch on anyway. You see, that's what I'm saying, though. He knew know, that you shit. You gotta know when the song gonna pop, though. You know what I mean? Me, I told you, I don't really fuck my music like that. So right now, I'm trying to get everything. And just because I don't fuck my music, I, I do know that it's all about whoever you're uh-huh. listening, bro. Just because I don't fuck my music doesn't mean cuz don't fuck Do you feel like you ain't putting stuff out because you don't believe uh, it's gonna go as far as you want it to? Or are you scared that it might hell, disappoint you? Hell, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm okay. just like, I have my own little schedule, my own little plan and everything. To be honest with you, the whole I don't like my shit is a personal thing. Yeah. I have plenty of people say, hey, your shit good. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I have some people say, hey, I don't really fuck with it. But then no one ever said my shit suck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't even care. If you did tell me my shit suck, you could see how much of a shit I'll get. Right. But at the same time, personally, I care about more what I think than what mm-hmm. I care about people think. Right, right. Like, you gotta satisfy yourself before right, you can satisfy right, anybody right. else. Right. You so, know what I'm saying? so I'm gonna go ahead and keep making music till I'm satisfied. And until then, I'm gonna keep, and even then, I'm gonna keep making more music. You know what I'm saying? But right now, bro, like, I'm a hard is like make sure everything's in line. Right. Hard to drop shit. Yeah. Shit still will get dropped slow. So a line as far as yeah. your your clothing brand, your Pro talk, protein bar. I don't know what to call it. Protein is a protein bar. Yeah. Like yeah. So, as far as that, but, but I feel like that. Not. I feel like if your music is not out there, and you just put that all of it at the same time out, it's gonna slow the sales. Yeah. I feel, you I know what I'm saying? saying? I mean, but the thing about LLC, like you don't have to really. 
sell anything, you don't got to do nothing. Right. Like, until it's like you ready to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can have a distributor at, at ready, like, you know, right. trying to do shit, though, bro. And LC is a process. I feel like a lot of people, they make it until they blow up. They wait until, like, they shit pop off. Right. Then they start the LLC, then they start all that. Sometimes, yeah. you don't know what you can miss out on because someone might take your shit before you can even say it's yours. Right. You know, so you're you talking about, like, copywriting or something. Someone owning your shit. Yeah. You have to own yeah. everything that you get. Make sure that So you don't, like, ask cap, BI? All that. Yeah, everything okay. Everything I can, bro. Anything legal yeah. that I need to do, I want it to be mine. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Because you did all this. You, the worst thing ever was to have all this creativity. Yeah. Just had that shit taken. So, so I feel like... Once you start doing that ASCAP, BMI, and stuff like that, that's when you really saying, oh, okay, I believe in myself. You know what I'm saying? Say for instance, yeah, like, not music, even that. Music, bro, and people really need to realize that music is something that you personally enjoy doing that thing. Mm -hmm. But don't don't get it twisted. It's still business, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like anybody who wants to be financially free mm -hmm. and fucking successful should always get into getting the LLC for whatever right. reason. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like getting into that business world, mm -hmm. starting your own shit. Yeah. Go work your nine to five if you want to, my nigga. But like, you know, don't knock the nine to five, half, bro. Half bro. my damn songs say like fucking nine to five. Bro, don't knock the nine to five when you're on the ride. Some people yeah. can't get that shit. You know what right. I mean? Some people right. can't get a nine to five. But if you're in the right position to make some shit out of yourself or make something out of yourself, mm -hmm. bro, like, nigga, you better go start that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hit, Hit the, the ground bro. running. Real shit. Yeah, because, like, like I said, you need that commitment to start it. Oh, God. But a lot of people fall into that first, you know, roadblock and just be like, oh, shit, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? That, that I can't. I just give up. You know, or, the, or I couldn't do it because of this. And it was because of this. Once you start, you know what I'm saying? You know, you placing the blame on other people. Yeah. The outside world's all fact. You doing that, bro. You procrastinate to the max. Right. It's like you have any reason you shit. If you say, oh, shit, I mean, it's cold outside, nigga. You yeah. Know? So I ain't gonna do it. Nigga, you find anything. You find anything to fucking say, nigga. Shit, I'm tired. Nigga. And then so you get to the point where you start lying to yourself. You're like, nigga, I just don't want to do it, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just get complacent in what you're doing. You get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, like, for me, I feel like you, I have to. Like, find a solution to something. I can't leave a problem a problem. I am a fucking... I ain't saying I'm the best problem solver in the world. But I'm going to get to the solution sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? And I might not work as fast as, like, these other business people or whatever. But, shit, I stumbled upon this motherfucking office. You know what I'm saying? I keep going. You yeah. can't compare yourself. You can be inspired by others. But don't ever compare yourself to things, actually. Don't compare yourself to other people's success and what they doing. And right. Don't ever knock people for their success and right. what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to do what you do. That's what I'm saying. Like, I like I see somebody who who doing this thing, but I'm like, okay, I got my own shit. I got my own shit. Like yeah, that. and I'm doing my shit how I need to do it because I'm walking, you know what I'm saying? I feel like God on my side, and I'm just, we just together making this plan together. Oh you know what I'm saying? So... I'm not really worried about what everybody else, and that's a lot of stress from social media. Y'all motherfuckers looking at everybody else and saying, oh, I want the G5 jet, and I want the fucking jet too, but I ain't stressing on it. I want that car. But at the same time, bro, I ain't really focused on that. Yeah. Everyone's through pace, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's going to come once I get this in order, once I get this shit. But I got to take it this first step, you know what I'm saying? That G5 jet is probably fucking five years down the, ten years down the line. Be in a week. You, never know. you never fucking know. That's the thing. I ain't nobody about getting no millionaire in a week. You never know, bro. You never know. Listen, you gotta understand. It'd be like that too. Say if you put out a song, and I, I know this is kind of a weird analogy, but you put yeah. out a song, and if five years go by and that song doesn't get touched. I'm talking about it doesn't get touched. Track star. Right. <laughs> Right. She's on my head. She's a track. Yeah. Five yeah. Times. Five fucking years, bro. Five fucking years go by, bro. Nobody touched that song. One right person fucking touched that yeah. song. Yeah. On oh, TikTok. On TikTok. And all of a sudden. TikTok did that shit. <laughs> that shit just blow up. Yeah, it just blow up. 
Now you rich. Right. It be like that. It be like I mean, my y'all is already doing his thing, right. thing though. You but. be like, you made that song that week. Yeah. Right, first phone. I guess, yeah. but I feel like if you just got to have your shit out there. But you you got your shit in the goddamn get it up. whatever, bro. What is that, bro? What is that? Is it in your phone, bro? This is my phone. What is that, bro? Just, come on, bro. I'll leak this shit right now. Leak this shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah. Bro, I mean, I do that. So you got 20 songs. So what's your, when's your next album? I don't, and how many way, songs you putting on it? Everybody does it differently. Mm-hmm. The way that my entity is, like my identity in rap, like right. I have different personalities for each song that I do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm always gonna drop a single. Right. And every single time I feel in the category of each personality, I'm gonna make an EP or maybe even an album for each personality. So it's, it's weird. The way I'm doing it is gonna be kind of weird. You ain't gonna understand that first. Okay. So, okay. So, so how many personalities you got? Four. Four. And I would say personalities are just emotions, I feel like. Okay, okay. I wouldn't say I'm like no alter ego or none of that All shit. Right. I am who I am, nigga. This is who I am, nigga. I ain't acting like, I ain't no, this ain't no nigga Minaj that shit. Oh, for me, I think my brand is like, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still Lee, but Lee Levy is like, a different nigga, man. <laughs> like a different level. It's just Lee times 10. Like, I just don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now Lee Levy though. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker don't give a fuck no more. He just gonna go out there and do the shit. But like what 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 you, what you saying your personality is like sad like that? Like you say different emotions or what? Different emotions. I mean it's like anyone else's emotions, it's like I'm putting music for them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These are my fucking emotions. You know? So you're not going monster like Nick Minaj. I'm on my fucking mind. Oh, or so you do like a rock voice or something like that, like ah, oh, like. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, 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 I don't really. I mean, sometimes I change up my voice. Not. I do want to do some rock star shit though. I ain't right. To be honest with you. Well, like all my friends are dead, like Lil Uzi Vert like, type shit. Lil Uzi type shit. Yeah. Or like, you know, some of that old XX stuff? Yeah, no. That's too much? I ain't gonna do I ain't saying I don't fuck with it. Oh, okay. I ain't who I ain't. Triple Red? Well, that's a stretch too. <laughs> that's a stretch too. Trip. I fuck with them, bro. Yeah. Them motherfuckers been, I don't know what the hell they been through. <laughs> I don't know what the hell them niggas been through, bro. These niggas, bro. Oh, man. Successfully mixed emo with <laughs> Right, bro. Nigga and emo is mixed together, bro. Like you gotta be a certain type of breed to be them type of niggas. Right, right. It's it's another guy, bro. He I'm ain't really. Goodness, bro, I can't be that fucking press, bro. Can't be that yeah. fucking... Okay, yeah. okay. So so you got. So you feel like you would. Yo, like most is kind of balanced, bro. I feel like if I was on any type of shit, bro, like mm. them motherfuckers is just in their feelings. Right, real shit. I'm just getting back to the album with the first four, four personalities, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, I don't, nah, so it's like, you gonna nah, be like I the Joker like one day or what? Nah, so, okay, I could give you a little, a little sneak peek. I didn't really want to explain it. So, I, I say that myself as like a jack of all trades. Yeah, right, 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 right. So like, uh, you see a deck of cards, they got each a different symbol. Okay. Right, if you go on my Spotify, you go on any of my shit, bro, you see that I have the symbol of the deck of cards. Hey, it's time together now. You know what I'm saying? This nigga up here. Right, so each <laughs> symbol got uh, ancient meaning people don't even know. Yeah. They just see a diamond, a heart, fucking square, right. and a club, but they really have true ancient meanings to it. Like, actual meanings mm. to it. So, like, you got the diamond, it means what? Riches, money, mm-hmm. success, flex, mm-hmm. and shit like that. The heart, of course, love. The spade right. is really tragedy. People don't know that. The space mm-hmm. tragedies, tragic shit that has happened in your life. Yeah. And then you got the club, just like adventurous, outgoing, shit like that. Go, right. Being a go getter, basically. Uh-huh. You know, so, so when you say love, you put your head down like this, like, like you got somebody out there you love or something like that? I will say that. It's, 
loving a certain person or just love in general? What is love to you? Because you said you was a lady man at the beginning. Hey, chill out, man. I, <laughs> that, I mean, I mean, it was like, like you insinuated that ladies are your thing. I never said that. I just, <laughs> listen, females don't hate me. I put it like that. At the same time, females ain't my priority. Females ain't my priority. Man, I just took out the shades. You <laughs> was not my priority, nigga. Nigga. You was not my priority, bro. <laughs> Alright, they not your priority. No, no, sir. They ain't your top three. Top three priorities? Hell no. Nah, females is a natural thing that a man, you know, <laughs> is attracted to. They not my priority, though. What you do every weekend? <laughs> oh, your free time, bro. Relax. Relax. You should be in the studio. I do that on weekdays. That was the right answer. I do that on weekdays. So you must be lying about us. I relax. Bro, you go to the studio an hour away, right? They got a couple studios I go to. One, one's at like 40 minutes away. One's like 20 minutes away. Uh-huh. Another one's like 20 minutes away. Two is about 20 minutes away. So, but you only worry with eco beats. With beats, yeah. With beats. Yeah. Eco beats. The dude. Echo beats. Yeah. Echo beats. So you only work with him, but y'all go to different studios. Well, the guy who records my shit and everything, mm-hmm. he's his own producer too. You know what I'm saying? My boy uh, Echo Beats be with me yeah. when I go record and everything. He's with me and everything, but I work with a group of people. Oh, okay. So you got like a whole team in the studio every time. Bro, just networking, bro. bro I, and you just, you're like, performance. Do you feel like you get anxiety when you get... Hell get no, too bro. too many get people nervous, in there. Bro. I never get nervous, bro. Never get nervous. I never get nervous, bro. What the fuck you get nervous for, bro? You don't have to do it anyway. So fuck, fuck it, bro. What? I've always played sports where like I'm always on a stage. Right. Everybody, bro. You see motherfucker get ready. So you he start so, crying as his parents saw me over <laughs> over nigga. <laughs> this is what I grew up with, nigga. Yeah, time to be nervous. You know what's some shit funny, bro? <laughs> nigga, that was me, nigga, in practice, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't cry though, but I got ran the fuck over, bro. And my leg, like. Been backwards? Bro, yes. <laughs> bro, like, I folded backwards, bro. I quit after that, bro. That was no, bro. I couldn't do it, though. I couldn't come back to practice. Bro, that shit, I quit, bro. I mean, yeah, like two weeks later, I was good, but I wasn't going back to get that shit again. Be like, that. Be like that. <laughs> it was just like I think it was God telling me, "Hey, bro, you don't belong. You stay your ass on the basketball court." So that's what I did. I played basketball. I ain't never got folded like that in basketball. So that's good. I did do uh jujitsu for a while though. So, yeah, I did jujitsu. I trained uh, with one of my homies. He went. He took first place in beats by back in like. 2015 or some shit like that. So you straight at jujitsu? Probably not no more. It was a while back. I was pretty good though. Yeah, I was pretty good. Yeah, no, I didn't jujitsu. Yeah, jujitsu is pretty nice. Oh, uh, but I'm straight on mu- music, bro. I'm not training with you. I'm not. I'm not training with you. I'm out of shape. My ankle hurt. You might you might do an ankle bar on me, bro. I'm like. I don't want to let me bar whatever you want to call it. There are knee bars. Yeah. Ankle bar, I've never heard that. Yeah. Ankle bar. Ankle lock, my bad. Ankle, there is a link, yeah. Yeah, I, I meant knee bar, ankle lock. that shit the other day, bro. We're going through like a, a leg yeah. series, Oshi series. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Bro, not, if somebody, grab, my, if somebody my, grab my leg, I'm about to kick them in their face with my other leg. And I know it's just jujitsu, but it's going to turn to MMA right after that. I can't do it. If someone, I can't do if it. Someone locking your legs between your legs lock, bro. You ain't kicking shit. No, I'm talking about with my other foot. Yeah, bro. This is something called uh, 411. A 411 is a leg lock where both your legs are just strapped, bro. Or you can do a Russian knot. That's but okay. back to music, nigga. I ain't nobody doing shit on me. <laughs> I ain't nobody doing shit on me. So, all right, all right bro. When, when is your album coming out? Cause you ain't even said that. 
I would say I have like I ain't I don't know if I'm out I'm out yet anytime soon. Probably uh, probably have EP out by like the summertime. Okay. And how many of those twenty songs are you putting on that? Five. Five six. Okay. I probably have like two, three EPs out by then this year. To be honest. Hey. I feel like uh shit. All the shit in my library right now, I'm about to throw on this fucking album and get it out and just put some more shit up. Because, I don't know, I think it's a Louisiana thing, bro. We like to repopulate, you know what I'm saying? We have a lot of kids, we have a lot of songs, like just like that. So, you see, NBA Young, young Boy got fucking 20 songs on every album and six albums a year. I pull out, man. <laughs> huh? I pull out. <laughs> and he got like what, like 30 kids? God damn. NBA got more than 30 kids. Yeah. Irby, more than, more than all oh, that. Oh man, god damn. Can't trust these hoes, man. I want hoes ain't on parole right now, man. <laughs> stop looking at me like that, nigga. Nigga, you wanna stop lying on this fucking camera, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you wanna stop lying. Nigga, as soon as the camera come on, the whole thing about, oh yeah, nigga, I'm a, hey, I'm a gentleman, and I, hoes are not my priority. I never said that. But this motherfucker, hey, hold up, bro. I am a gentleman, I never said that, though, but I am a gentleman, I am a gentleman, fuck, I treat these girls good, <laughs> I treat these girls good. Yeah, you did, giving that boyfriend vibes to everybody, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Giving that boyfriend vibes to everybody. Hey, yeah. hey, bro, look. I, all I'm saying is, you're going down the wrong road. You gonna have fucking people. You gonna have blue face vibes. Oh hell no. Blue face. <laughs> blue face vibes. You gonna have. You ain't like that. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't like that. Nigga. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga be like, I really like that. I really ain't like that. <laughs> nigga, I be on that shit. <laughs> I be on, yeah, go ahead and speak. Speak. Say what you gonna say, cause I'm gonna call your ass out. <laughs> Let's get back to me. <laughs> Uh, all right, we appreciate you coming out, bro. I feel like it was a good interview. You gave me good vibes. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure they're going to like it. Um, follow him on Instagram. It's NF underscore Chris. And then Spotify, all his links. And then um, I don't know the link to my shit. But <laughs> follow, follow Lee Levy, not three. On Instagram, and you will find the link to the YouTube in my bio.